Hello and welcome to this virtual handover video, this time looking inside your new Swift Caravan. Please note, each model will be different, however they all pretty much work the same way. Prior to your arrival, your salesperson will have checked your caravan both inside and out. However, please do take as much time as you like, A, so you know how it works, and B, so you know it works. Your caravan will be plugged into the mains and the lights will be on, ready for you to step inside. It could be that, like this one, the pillows have been moved to allow you to see the inner gubbings. First up, here are the water valves. If your caravan has an inbuilt water tank like this one, you'll have two drain valves, one for the onboard tank and the other for the external tank and supply pipes. The easiest way to remember how these work is, if pointing up, the pipes and tanks will drain. If flat, they won't. So when filling or using your caravan, keep them closed. If you forget, don't worry, Swift have left you a little guide which goes into more details. Also in this cupboard, you can see the water pump. If you have a sergeant alarm finished, normally you'll see one of the inside sensors in one of the corners here. Moving round the base, you can see the back of the battery box, and this is the mains electrics box. The battery charger is on the side, and when connected to the mains, this will charge your leisure battery for you. On top is the Swift Command control box. Top left is the system shutdown, it's your on-off switch. It's worth remembering to switching it off when not in use to not drain the electricity. If you have a solar panel fitted, this will still charge your leisure battery when it's switched off, also the tracker and alarm will still work. These two are isolator switches, one for the charger, the other for heating and hot water. This light here is for reverse polarity, so if a plug is wired wrong, this will light up showing that there is a fault and it will also protect the system. You can also see the trip switches, RCDs and fuses. A little tip is if nothing is switching on and you want to test if there is mains power coming into the caravan, press this yellow switch next to the trip switches. If they trip, you have power coming in and the fault is elsewhere. If they don't, no power. Again, Swift have left a useful guide here to go back over should you have any problems. Going around the cupboards and have a good look, you'll find you'll have a DAB module if fitted. This is also where you can plug in your auxiliary sound source. If you have a TV aerial fitted, if you have a good look around, you should find your TV amplifier normally set to maximum and you can leave this switched on. However, there is a power switch at the top should you need it. The aerial in this caravan is a directional aerial. When in transit, you should always have the aerial down and horizontal. To tune in, undo the nut, push the aerial up and use the bottom toggle to move the antenna. Again, for your convenience, a little guide here. Don't forget that when you are in transit or you're, about, you're packing up your caravan ready to leave, make sure your aerial is in the down position. Onto the fridge. Switch it on, normally set to automatic, which it will choose the mains power if supplied. If no mains, it can use gas, or if you're connected to the car, it will use the battery feed to call in transit. To change between them, use the arrow switch to move between them. If you set it to a source you don't have, the alarm will sound. Likewise, if you have it set to gas and your bottle runs out, it will bleep until you switch it. For temperature, use the thermometer button to select the right temperature for you. Inside, most have a removable freezer tray. Instructions on how to do so will be found inside. Most fridge doors have a catch which you can adjust to either click shut when closing the door or soft close like your fridge at home. It's always best to have it click shut when traveling. Sink with tap and when you set up with your intake hose into the full water barrel outside, turn on the pump and lift the tap up and wait for the water to come through. Once the water is flowing, that's your system primed. Next up, here we have the cooker. Most models have a safety feature built into the hob cover, where it won't allow the gas to come through until it's fully upright. When lifting, you can feel and hear a little click when the micro switch is engaged, and therefore freeing the gas to cook. This model has one electric hob and three gas hobs, gas grill and gas oven, all controlled like a standard oven. Electric button for igniting gas hobs, and nearby you'll find the gas isolation valves for both fridge and oven. Onto the washroom, and specifically the shower, this one is fitted with the Eco Camel water saving shower heads. When it's gaining pressure, you might see water coming out of these little holes here. Just bear with it, when pressure builds, it will start to work properly. To the toilet, and this has an electric flush. Here you can see the indicator that will light up when your cassette is full of waste. When in use, open the blade by moving the blade handle from left to right, 
do your business. And please note that the blade can be open or closed when you do what you've got to do. Just make sure it's open when you flush. Then press and hold the button for several seconds to flush the toilet and close the blade after use. When you come to look around your caravan, look in every cupboard and there you'll find things like the dining table and any other fixtures that come with your caravan. Sometimes the carpets, sometimes more cushions. Look and use all the vents. Yours may have one of these Omni vents which you can switch from blowing air in or out of your caravan. Most models have vents similar to these ones. Press the button, pull the bar and move it to the desired position. Check the windows, check the blinds and yours may have blackout blinds and fly nets like this one. Also, check all the light switches. Check everywhere. Make sure you're happy with your new caravan and if you've got questions, please ask your salesperson or refer to the user manual supplied if you've already left our sites. We want you to be happy with your purchase, so if something doesn't look right, tell us before you leave. To learn how your onboard heating system, swift commands, and how to build your bed if you don't have a fixed one, please watch our virtual handover guide videos. Thanks for choosing Leisure Worlds and we wish that you have many happy memories with your new purchase and we're honoured to be a part of that journey.